Welcome to another stream. I appreciate everybody that's been coming and showing up to these. It's been a lot of fun. I've gotten a lot of feedback. Today will be a slightly uh, less busy stream, I would say. Just given the fact that um, that my daughter is not with us today. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> it's probably not the most professional, but um, I don't know. She's a kid. It's fun. I think everybody has fun with her uh, hanging out on the stream. So uh, if you're live, checking this out. If, if you guys are replaying the stream, make sure you turn the chat on. Because that will actually give you kind of an idea as far as the things that are being said, what's going on. Because I know sometimes it can be hard to follow and understand. So make sure you turn the uh, the chat on and you will see exactly the interaction, the questions and stuff like that that's going on. Um, so if you're in here right now, uh, definitely go ahead and send some chats and let me know that you're here. Say hello. If it's your first time, um, thank you for checking out the stream, especially if you're watching the replay, replay that's really cool. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you uh, subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on, you will be notified when I go live, and I'm probably going to do a better job as far as making sure that I schedule these and do these right, so everybody kind of knows. Uh, hey, what's up, Basilisk? How are you, buddy? Hey, Sheaf. Sheaf. I'm going to call you Sheaf. It's a mix between chief and chef, so chief. It's uh, it's my new thing, apparently. Um, but cool. Uh, let me pull this up. We have the Alliance War going on. Um, we will be winning that, I believe, hopefully. Um, so yeah. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Anything fun going on? Collect. I've been like, um, I've been super, super uh, hammered right now. Take a shower. It's funny you say that, Zero, because I just got back from the gym and I legitimately do need to take a shower. Um, but I, I was uh, convinced to go and play, uh, f play Fortnite with my, uh, my roommate's son and his friends, so I I put the shower off and then I had set my alarm and I was like, Oh crap, I gotta come stream because before this war finishes, so got lots of stuff I gotta do. Hey Lorraine. Uh thank you for stopping in and checking out the stream. Uh appreciate you uh coming through. And you're welcome for me posting these. So cool, we just got a new Titan. So New Titan, War, uh, Alliance hits, Raid hits, we got some, uh, some World Energy, as I kind of mentioned in the last stream, I've been, um, I've been having this thing to where all of my stuff is full, <laughs> so it's weird, I'm playing the game less, which is probably a good thing, um, because I'm conserving all of my stuff for you guys, but that's not really that good, because now I'm, like, missing out on energy. Hey Alicia, how are you? Good morning. Uh, no kid today. She went back to her mom's. So we got 21 minutes left. I, uh, I saved my hits and everything like that. So, um, this was kind of how it was left last time. I'll pro, uh, I'll be close to being able to restart everything. Um, but... Defensive wise, uh, we went all red tanks. It's prove proven to be pretty pretty effective. Uh, Leviathans. Uh, I showed you guys last time. We actually started a uh, a line chat with them. Really really great group of guys. Um, uh, really cool guys. So, let's get in here, and I'll start attacking in here and see how well we can do. Um. I'm actually, before I'm going to attack, I'm going to go level up Magni. Super close to uh, to finishing him. Um, for the record, everybody, uh, I liked Star's idea better than Zero's idea. 
but don't tell Zero that or Star that. Um, doing the single um, one-star level ups on the three-star heroes, uh, you have a higher chance of actually hitting the skill set. So I did hit three skill sets doing individual one star one star level ups. And what I mean by that, I'll show you that real quick. Um, since I'm trying to level up Breen, instead of doing like 10 at a time, uh, I'm going to do one at a time with a one star. And 2% is better than doing 10 at a time at 2%, which would give you 20%. So if you guys are struggling with making sure that your your three stars have max skill set, definitely look into doing the um, one individual at a time because it's, it's worked pretty well for me. So um, try that out instead of doing like 10 at a time. And you, yeah, see like even like Squire Rabbit, that was one of them. You can see that it's only level 16 and I already have one skill set up. Hey Acid, thanks for joining the stream. I appreciate it. Um, Alright, so let me go. I gotta go attack. So he's got Justice as a tank. I think I'm gonna save that I have no purples left do that that I'm probably gonna try and do like a like a green attack we have plenty of greens try that and potentially I think that might be okay it seems pretty bad but well, I've got four blues let's do This is probably going to be the one that I'm going to, um, to do, uh, I'm, I may need to do two attacks on this. Hey Mauricio, thanks for checking out the stream, I appreciate it. Um, thanks. So let's try this. Uh, I didn't really get into too much... Uh, strategy on choosing my team to be honest with you with this one uh, let's go there charge them up I'm probably gonna fire in to there and then if if Ares goes off I will, I've got debuffs there, so I've got quite a few debuffs, which is going to be okay. I got really lucky with those, uh, with those tiles for sure. Uh, Acid, I've been playing the game for, it'll be a year in June. So I'm not going to fire off my Melendor because I'm going to get hit by the arrows. So I'm, And I'm also not going to fire off my green because I'm going to get hit with the arrows. So I'm going to come with Melendor. You guys still want to try and play smart even though this is pretty much a clear win. Um... And just so you guys know that the double hero healers are, are really good. Um, 68 points there. We'll come over here. Let's see what else. All right, so we got, I got double blue... And double green, yellow, or I got three, I, got, I still got four blues left. Yeah, so I've been, um, I've been leveling up my blues because, um, 
because I figured everybody was going to start doing um, blue tanks. So we'll go with that. That seems okay. Um, also, the debuffs are pretty solid. I don't have... Okay, so... Uh, so, Knights, definitely, uh, Gunny, and, um, uh, Gunny, Arthur, and Merlin are really good. Lancelot's pretty good, too. Actually, all the Knights are, are pretty, pretty useful, to be honest with you. And, yeah, sorry, I meant, uh, I meant red tanks. This guy's correcting me on colors. Who is this guy? Okay. So I'm going to kind of focus on the middle right now if I don't really have great moves because focusing in on the middle, I'll be able to go ahead and um, get it to where I'm actually charging my heroes. Um, there's no real reason for that. I'm going to come. I just wanted that blue to catch and that's why I hit the hit the dragon in the middle so I gotta kill I gotta kill Albi that was annoying actually um Wow, that was supposed to be a diamond. It always seems to be that the ones that I mess up are on the diamonds. Always seems to happen. Didn't matter, though. Um, I think I'm just going to attack this guy again and kill him. I've got Dreaded. There's no point for Marine. And um, I'm trying to think of the, the best. It's going to give me the most amount of points. I think I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to attack. I'm going to auto-fill on this because those are my last heroes anyways. So I tried to kill Asarnia, but I messed up. What do you want from me? Some of us aren't a robot, Zero. That was, it was bad boards. It was really bad boards. Um... Try and focus a little bit in the middle. Most tiles. Purple. Hopefully that kills them. All right, Albie's still alive. Albie has 33 life. Yeah, Skittles is really bad. Alright, we'll go there. And that. Um, Alright, so... We have 79 life. Um... I think if I do the purples in the middle, that'll probably cascade some blues. And, um, and that hopefully will be enough to kill the June. Um, which is also, when I do the purples, that'll hit a green, which will hit. So that's probably my best bet. Got him. 
It's pretty close. Cool. So I feel pretty good about that. I had um I had three one shot kills this war. Um I did okay. So I got eighth out of sixty. Uh seventh out of my alliance. So Jimmy, uh is it I think that is that that's six one shots? Chef, I mean, it it wasn't too much of awesome luck. I mean, I definitely calculated, and I knew that I was going to hit at least two tiles on it. Um, I had a pretty high chance. So, five one-shots. He had five one-shots. So, did you guys both have five one-shots? Hey, Dustin, thanks thanks for joining. I appreciate you uh, checking out the stream today. Um, and um, Top, thanks. Uh, top Hamas, 95, thanks for checking out the stream. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, who's my strongest hero? Um, I don't know. I would probably just say Hell just because Zero's on the live feed right now. So I love rubbing that in anytime. So you guys both had five. Good for you guys. Yeah, five's really good. I think my best, I think I did four. Four is show the attacks on Jimmy. Do we have the attacks on Jimmy, Chef? Um... What do you mean show the attacks on Jimmy? But um one thing just so you guys know, we we like to um so you guys can check out the um the alliance banner that we have got oh the the history. Um so we usually like to go ahead and uh especially in their language um just say thank you for for the for the fight and stuff like that. Um I think that that's that's a good kind of thing. You know, um the other thing I was showing you guys all was the um was the um the line chat that we created. So, um Yeah, Dustin, um what's really worked for us is using the all single color tanks. I did a video on that. Um Oh, that's what you want. Oh my god. That's what you want me to show. So, what's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 hits uh, on Jimmy. I don't know if that... Was was that on purpose? Um, it's actually It's actually 5% top. Uh, it's five, you have a 5% chance of getting a five-star hero in the training camp, um, from what we've heard, from what I've heard, everybody else is like all about numbers, uh, Revelate actually gets a ton of credit for that, he does, a, he crunches a lot of numbers, Zero actually crunches a lot of numbers, there's a lot of people actually in the alliance that, um, that, um, really look at numbers and track things, I think Hylic actually, created a five-star tracker which i've been terrible at contributing to it but um yeah the the chances are they're pretty slim uh nicholas hey good evening to you yeah everything's good man everything's good um cool so yeah so that that's that's how our war ended up like don't don't um i wouldn't have anybody sleep on them we we um yeah, don't don't worry about it top. Uh I've I've had my TC20 for like the last, I don't know, 4 months, something like that, 3 or 4 months, and I've only gotten um 4 out of it and um and they've been pretty bad. But they've actually been like duplicates, which has been kind of annoying. So, our Titan just spawned 17 minutes ago and it's almost halfway dead. Uh this is actually pretty normal. Um, so I'll be doing, uh, doing this as well. So my Titan team for purple, I always keep, if you guys don't have Wukong, I would make Wukong an absolute priority for, um, for Titan hits and everything like that. Yeah, I, 
Honestly, Dustin, I wouldn't really mess with TC13. I know some people did. Um, I've been able to get four stars just randomly. And the good thing right now is that uh, pretty much all four stars are pretty good. So, um, like, I have, like, multiples that have been leveled and everything like that. So, um, you, you, you did get the, the W? <laughs> Yeah, that uh these nuts is actually he's uh I was just playing Fortnite with them. So, um I had to I left early cuz I I got killed. So, they went and they played on while we were playing squads. So, there you go. Fortnite, there's your uh there's your plug for the day. Um The only numbers I know for sure are TC20, those were openly tested cool. <laughs> Alicia, uh, say hello to your daughter. All right, what 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 color Titan are we doing? God, I already forgot. All right, so we need purples. <clears throat> um, I think I'm just gonna do double hell. And hope that I don't have any issues, with um with needing defense down. So the setup, the battle items, this is my typical battle items that uh that I'm gonna do. No Fabio, I do not have Panther. Unfortunately. Oh I did I did pick Sabina. Good good catch. Good catch. A vicious, I appreciate that. Yeah, it was definitely not supposed to be Sabina. <laughs> um Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's definitely getting interesting paying attention to the chat. And then also, uh, and also, um, playing. No, he does not need to ask that again. I did not get Panther. Um, change the banner. Oh, okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's do that. See, but I, I don't know, um, well, they're Italian. So, um, I don't know, I don't know, uh, Italian. I can't spell Leviathans. Sources. Yeah, so we um we definitely got to um it builds com camaraderie, you know. Chris, uh, thanks for stopping in, Chris. All right, let me um. All right, so that's what I got to add. Okay. Thanks for uh Grazi. Probably doesn't need to all be capitalized like that, I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure I hopefully didn't just make fun of them. I don't know what it, I don't know what it says, but uh, <laughs> we're we're do, we're doing half English, half Italian. That's that's what we do. Cool, it's gonna work. Hopefully, I don't know what I just said to him. Hopefully, it's not bad. Hopefully, um, hopefully they don't get mad at me. Okay, so this is uh this is the team I'm gonna go ahead and bring in. It says good war. Okay, cool. Thanks, Fabio. I appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for the beautiful war it means. Cool. <laughs> we won in your face, right? <laughs> it's like losers. No, I'm just kidding. No, that's cool. Uh no, they're 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 a great, great, great bunch over there. Had a lot of fun. 
uh, talking to them. I've always, uh, it was funny because I actually met them because I went into, um, I went into the Italian channel and started recruiting over there. Um, and I was like, sorry guys, I don't speak Italian, but we're looking for people and departed. <laughs> and, uh, and Sar says he's like such a stand up guy. He was like, Hey man, like, um, I speak English and, um, got to talking and, um, added me online and, and we talk every so often. So I've been waiting to, to battle them because they're, he's a pretty good friend of mine and, um, really, really, really cool guys. And, um, you know, Azo Rebel, I've been trying to get him recruited over to us. Uh, Juzum actually got recruited over there, like shortly after I was trying to get him. So, um, so I've had kind of like a connection with, with, uh, with the three of them and, um, really a, a bunch of great, great, uh, group of guys. And actually Ricky reached out to me too. So I've been talking to him and, and helping them out, you know, cause ultimately I, I like having, a I like having people that we can, you know, that we can face. And, and I like it when people rise up to the competition and everything like that, because it, it makes things fun. So, um, that's why I like helping you guys out too. You know, I, I there's, you know, some people that are going to be like, like, you know, why, why is he, you know, telling all this information? I like, I like helping people out and I like making the, the game interesting. That's really what it comes down to. And I'm glad that my council supports me to, you know, kind of give away, you know, tips and tricks that we've kind of developed as a team. And it's not, it's not even necessarily what I've come up with. It's, you know, as a group we've come up with. So, um, yeah, we, we try and keep the, the community, um, going and and uh and everything like that so despite what you know some people may may think i i you know i'm starting to get comments on my youtube about people cheating and stuff like that i'm like dude like i'm showing things live you know i don't i don't know what else to tell you so um yeah i guess it's you know enjoy the uh the it's the haters alicia uh i don't know if it's a soft heart (laughs) i don't know about that i just like helping people so Let's get battling in this. Uh, so right off the bat, I see a diamond that hopefully you guys saw. You want to prioritize diamonds. Um, doesn't matter if it's an off color. Um, you want to make sure that you get those first. And I think I'm just going to kind of heal a little bit. And I'll hit Athena up. And I'll come up with Wukong. So now I'm hoping to hopefully create like a a purple diamond and definitely doing it right now while I still have my Athena max, uh, my Athena hits defense down. So the big thing when you're using Wukong guys is you want to uh to make sure that you're um you're doing all of your hero your your abilities before Wukong goes off. So that's uh that's a big one. Uh Wukong is very very helpful, but if you if you don't do it in the proper order, he will uh he will backfire on you. So there's no point in really using my antidote at that time with it being um, such short amount of time. Probably 25. Oh, 40. All right. 40, 40k hit. It's not too bad. Go again. Uh, I'm going to come up, and this should hopefully make a diamond, maybe? Nope. Nope. Made a different color diamond. So, with Wukong already charged up, I'm going to come up, do this, because I don't want him to die. Wukong is very fragile. I'm not going to shoot off my diamond yet, because I want to get a little bit more uh, more blues. Um... try so that's another thing too when i'm when i'm doing when i see that i can use a dragon um i also see if i can um if i can go down on it to clear more tiles for the dragon if that makes sense 
So sometimes it'll be obvious, and other times it won't. I went that way because I wanted to try and make the uh, the diamond there. I'm coming down there because I'm going to try and make another diamond up up in the purple. Didn't happen. So, like I said, guys, everything is about making diamonds. Same thing um, with that. Probably 25, 30. All right, well, I'm doing better than I expected. Right there. Always make the diamonds. That was frustrating. Um, let's do. I'm just gonna charge these up. All right. And we'll hit the weak spot. Weak spot again. This kind of fluttered a little bit. All right. It's going to hit two in there. 20. Oh, 13. So. There's the victory. Here's the loot. Cool. I got some some trap tools out of uh out of that. It's pretty solid. I'll take it for sure. Um so 3 hits, 83k. It's okay. It's not that great. But um but you'll see that that uh this thing should probably die pretty quick. Jimmy has two panthers. So, um all right, let me go back and I'll I'll start reading some of the comments and stuff like that. Uh, let's check this out. What do I farm for Titan items? Uh, depends. Uh, honestly, you shouldn't be farming for Titan items. The because the only thing that you really need is leather strips, which should come pretty automatically. Um, right now I'm switched to bear banners. I was using, um, axes, um, but I've started using axes for the war and then, um, arrows, you don't really need to farm with it. It just kind of happens. So the whole, uh, the whole purpose and antidotes, antidotes are, are pretty common. So, um, that's the whole thing. I, I see a lot of people go crazy with, with, uh, with Titan items. They start, um, they start using, you know, like tornadoes and all this kind of stuff. I mean, Titans come every single day and you can waste a lot of resources. I have never been the type of person to just blow out resources just to blow them out just to say I have a high score. Um, so like even right now, like I've only done 85k is my highest hit. And that was on a 10 star. And I've been pretty much only been fighting 9 and 10 stars since almost the beginning. I fought like 5s and 6s for like probably a month. I don't know. I think I joined, I think I joined Departed in July. And I think even then we were fighting 7 and 8 stars. So, um, and then we very quickly got into 9s and 10s. So, I... I didn't waste uh, a lot of resources, and my whole thing was is I wanted to have consistent hits rather than having like a ridiculous hit. Now, if I invested more money into this game, I could definitely get higher Titan hits. Especially, you know, it was brought up like Panther. Like I don't have Panther, I don't have Jackal, um, I don't have uh, like um, King Arthur. So there's a lot of um, there's a lot of better heroes that stack. But I've kind of chosen the route to where I want to be good with kind of the, the stuff that I have in front of me. So I think that that helps kind of make things relatable. So I'll show you, for instance, right now, uh, if I was to craft antidotes right now, I could make a thousand antidotes. 
Um, I am pretty low on minor mana, so I'll probably... The leather strips, they're kind of all over. I don't know if there's actually a specific spot, but I'll probably chill it a little bit with leather strips if I need to. I can use some of my um, my um, my uh, actual like super manas potentially because I can make a bunch of those if if I had some more roots. But roots I've been using for um, for the um, the the bomb attacks. So I'll I'll explain that. It's actually probably a good video to kind of talk about that. Um, so a turtle banner turtle banners as you can see I can make oh, 650 of these if I needed to uh arrows right now I could make another 61 um so the thing that I'm kind of chasing right now is going to be the leather strips which um they're kind of all over so um Right now, I've been farming a lot for the, the event that's going to happen, and I'll definitely be streaming that for you guys, too, so you guys can see that. But um, if I need to, I can um, I can definitely use some, su some of my super mana potions because I haven't really used them if I run out of my minor mana. Um, I don't think I've really ever used super mana potions. I made those because I was, I was uh, full on ham, so... Um, but yeah, let me, uh, I'll do a tornado right now. Uh, so yeah. Okay, let me... Shield from war. That's sturdy. Nice, you got a shield from war? Cool. Good job, chef. Okay, yeah, I am pretty bad at, at judging uh, damage. Yeah, Alicia, it it happens. It it helps to actually use items when you're going in to to fight the Titan. Uh, I don't use a counter counter attack hero against the Titan, Rubel. Uh, thanks for joining the stream, by the way. Um, but um, it just seems like a wasted slot. I'd much rather just have my heroes that are stacking properly. Sorry, not axes for war. Axes for the event. I apologize. Um, okay, cool. I'm glad you're cooking pizza. I did not get my guardian. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably play later. Uh, D's nuts. <laughs> I'll probably play later. Yeah, um, so Alicia, dragon banners. The only issue with, uh, with dragon banners, uh, crap. Dragon banner, did I... I haven't leveled this up enough. Dragon banners use a resource. I think it's roots. Uh, thanks for checking me out at work, man. Um, I think dragon banners use roots, and that's why I switched away from dragon banners because um, my huge emphasis right now is on bombs. So that's where all of my roots have been going because I plan on uh, doing uh, pretty well on the event again this time. So... Um, that's why I won't be making really too many dragon too many dragon banners. They are good, um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't do it in war. So the the whole thing of it is with with our titans. Like I'll show you again. Um, this is our titan. We're, the the thing's halfway dead and it's only been alive for thirty six minutes. So I don't have to be a um, what, Alicia, what what is it what does it take to make a dragon banner? There's something in it that I know that um oh it's I think it's the steel. I think that's what it is. Um I think that's the issue. There's one resource in there that I don't want to be using on dragon banners. How was zero attack? Zero got ninety two. I had eighty three. He did pretty okay. Metal ores, grim dust and fines. Yeah, it's the steel. So the steel is important because the steel is what's used for the um for the um the axes. I've actually yeah, just started. Oh no, it's not axes. What the heck is it for? Uh, <clears throat> um steel's important for something. And I'm an idiot because I just I just used my nugget. Um what is steel for right now, Zero?
I know steel's important for something. Do this. Uh, ingredients. Nope, it's not the steel. What did you say? Steel. Actually, no, I think. I think Dragon Banners are fine. I lied completely. Yeah, Grim Dust. Grim Dust is fine. Um, I know Grim Dust is. <clears throat> Is used for uh, for the mana potions. Um, it might be the metal ore, actually. Nope, not the metal ore. Um, yeah, I don't know. Go ahead and you can use the dragon banners. <laughs> That's fine. Um, uh, Seven DD or chef, uh, definitely tornadoes, because dragon attacks you can get by with using um, the bombs instead. Yeah, I can make dra I can make dragon banners without any problems. Um I think I didn't like the fact that it only lasts three turns. Definitely preference. Yeah, dragon banners are fine. You can do that. Yeah, they are expensive iron wise, that's for sure. Yeah, no, I appreciate I appreciate uh making me think. That's uh very helpful. So <clears throat> um Alright, let's um My cops are like getting destroyed by the way too so this is my typical raid team <clears throat> I'm just going to use Aslar too you still only got forge 14 yeah I'd recommend um, I'd recommend upgrading your forge ASAP Forge is very useful. Always make diamonds, guys. I want you to, like, understand and realize how important they are. In everything. What forge do I use the most? It it depends on what I'm doing, to be honest with you. Um, I think you can die from just that. Yep. Um, forge just depends on what I'm using. I I um. I only had one leveled forge, and I've actually just started leveling up my forge again. Uh, a second forge. So, um, this has been kind of my, my go-to for dragon bones, uh, backpacks and, um, and nuggets, 12-9. Research everything. Uh, I researched everything. There was no point in not researching ever everything. The the only thing that I would caution on is when it comes to research is um is the training camps. There's a lot of wasted training camp uh options. So you guys don't need to do a lot of them. And I'll show you that hopefully I can show you that I can't. That's one of the things that bugs me um right now is that they don't um they don't show you um you can't look at the stuff that it costs or requires for that if you're currently running it. And what I mean by that is, like, right now, I can't look at different items to make in my forge because I'm making a, um, I'm making a, uh, tornado. So that's one of the things that bugs me. You still haven't researched time stops? Time stops are, um... So you got some roots there, leather strip, and uh, and a backpack. What not to do? Um, you don't have. I'll show you right now, actually, rather than just say it. So right now, oh, this is this. I want to show you this. Um, 
I didn't research any of these. Get a, a fire hero rank lower level, ice rank lower level, none of this. I didn't research any of those. They're uh, they're terrible. Um, so I think that's like 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. 14 through 18, you don't need to research any of those. Um, that's the only things you don't need. Uh, 19 is really good. So if you guys are wondering how Zero is able to... Um, to uh power level heroes it's because he's using uh tc19 tc19 is really 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 effective um i want to switch to tc19 but right now i don't have uh enough five stars that i can be using uh ultimately i would like to be throwing my ham into tc19 because i i'm pretty ham rich at the moment so um so yeah so um I didn't really, I think if you need to, you can do like, uh, like the elite one. Um, I think that's okay. Sometimes you can maybe run on that for the, for the four stars, but you are absolutely not going to run any of this. I think I stopped like, um, like TC 11 is super, super important to do the extra low cost. So you should definitely be doing that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm glad I'm glad that you're you're at TC8. Yeah. Uh I I recommend um I recommend for sure hype as soon as you can get up to be running TC11. That was one of the mistakes I made, to be honest with you guys. I was running um one of my training camps at uh at TC4, which uh TC4 is cheap but slow training, common and uncommon. See right now I can't even show you guys. That's one of the things that bugs me so much that you can't look at the information. Um, but yeah, so it produces, I think it's at four hours, four hours and it costs more, whereas TC11 is three hours. I I don't know for sure. I'm sure if you guys have it up in front of you that you guys can take a look. But, um, but I wasted a lot of time in the very beginning. And it wasn't up until probably like two or three months ago that I was like, crap, uh... I'm not at TC11, <laughs> so I had to, like, power level. The issue I have right now, I wish, I think, actually, I'll probably bite the bullet and start running, um, start upgrading this 3 over here uh, to TC19. So I can run a TC19... A TC2 and a TC11 and then a TC20 and then hopefully switch over to two TC9. Okay, so it's two hours. So then, uh, so then, chef, it's four. Or it's three hours for um, for the uh, for four. For TC4, so it's an it's, it's an additional hour. But um, yeah, I eventually want to get enough five stars to where I can be running, um, two two uh tc nines it's gonna be really um be really beneficial it'll be a good use of my ham because right now i'll show you the issue i'm having with ham so i don't want to use any of these 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 and i don't want it i have a couple that i can use out of this but other than that um and then ham, I'm kind of restricted on resources. I don't have any other major buildings that I need to be upgrading with my um, with my ham. So I don't want to be wasting ham. Yeah, uh, I'm usually super low on ham. But right now I've got an influx. I actually, uh, oddly enough, I upgraded my... Um, my, uh, my Marjana today... Uh, just because, um, just because I was so high on ham. Level 20 tower is God. Yeah, it is good. It's one of the things that people mess up on. They don't, um, they don't level their tower, which is silly in my opinion. So, um, yeah, let me, um, I'm gonna farm a bit. I'm just gonna leave this on auto so you guys, if you guys, uh... Do you suggest leveling it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as far as 
uh, things to level, you want to level up your farms. Farms are probably the most important thing that you want to level up. Then after that, you want to uh, do your iron, your mines, and then after that, uh, the um, the tower. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, leveling up the watchtower is pretty effective, guys. Yep. Yeah, I'm glad that, that, that it helps. Yeah. Zero's uh, video definitely does help. And that, that that's a cool thing, too. Um, the best part about being in, like, an alliance and stuff like that, getting feedback, like, I never claim to know, like, everything. There's a lot of times where I'm, like, wrong about situations. And um, it helps having, you know, a high mind mentality to where you've got high-level players that are kind of giving or critiquing or giving advice and stuff like that. That's why I think it's important, you know, that, you know, if you guys are serious about the game or want to be, like, competitive, that uh, you work towards surrounding yourself around people that are also competitive and want to actually play at a high level. Um, that's a, a big, big thing. So I got another leather strip and another backpack from from this. I'll probably get a... I'm guessing I'm going to get either a bone or a... Um, or a uh, a nugget. Been YouTube bringing trying to find more members. What do you mean by that? Why twelve nine? Uh, the reason why twelve nine because it gives decent level. Uh, it gives de decent experience. It gives dragon bones. It gives uh, nuggets, and it's pretty good on backpacks. And it's um, and it only costs four. So. Like you can do like five eight is really good for backpacks and nuggets, but it's terrible on dragon bones and experience. So to me I feel like um as far as energy used and what I'm trying to get right now, the twelve nine is the uh the best compromise to kinda of get the best bang for my buck. Move on. Current role is training lower levels and preparing them to move on completely. Yeah, seven eight is, or five eight is also bad for recruits. That's for sure. Um, so Alicia, it, it's up to you. If that's what you want to do, you like helping out lower level, lower level players and stuff like that. That's perfectly fine. Um, you know, I, I think that the big thing is determining what you want out of the game. That's that's the biggest thing. Yeah, Alicia, um I I am so appreciative of the 7 Days community and it's not even just my alliance cuz um you know, I I lean on a lot uh like Chef Zero uh Revelate um Razorbeard, he was a he was a co-lead for a long time, helped out a ton. Um a Vicious, all all of the people in the community, they they um everybody kind of does their work and helps and contributes and it's not one person doing it and it feels good because <clears throat> even though I'm <clears throat> sorry I apologize um even though I you know I'm I'm running like the number one alliance in the game um I've learned to delegate and also not get myself burnt out so I see a lot of like leaders they get stressed out they want to uh, they want to always be on. They're setting timers for Titans, and they're doing all this stuff. And um, and I've just seen that that can get exhausting. And it's a big reason why me personally, I don't make huge pushes to uh, to be number one on the leader but leaderboard a ton. Like that's not super important to me. It's why I haven't spent like an enormous amount of money on this. A because I don't have the money to go and spend on it. But I also don't want to. I don't want to get burnt out on the game. And so um one of my um one of my factors with everything is I want to prevent like burnout. And um I always give opportunities for for my alliance members to like step down and go into our sister alliances if they need a break or whatever. And um and my whole thing is just kind of you know kind of making sure that you know that that everything kind of runs pretty smooth. 
So, um, but I couldn't do that without any of the, the other people that are involved. So, um, yeah, it's, it can be a lot. You live in peer support? Yeah, I, I'd recommend not living in peer support. Like, like I, I get some grief because there's, there's the Discord channel that, um, that I don't post a ton in advice in there. Um, you know, there, because my members can go in there and they can, they can post an advice, you know, there's, there's a lot, if I try and do everything, I'm not going to be able to do it. Like I'm not going to be able to sustain it and everything for me is sustainability. So I need to be able to go ahead and disconnect from this game enough to where I want to come back to it tomorrow. And if it becomes like this job that I don't enjoy and that I'm always spending all my time on it, then there's no, there's no point. It's, it's just not fun anymore. Like, so you have to learn to delegate and also not, not stress yourself out. And I've always kind of like been the type of person that can handle and deal with stress pretty well. So, um, yeah. Yeah, definitely, Rook. I mean, you, you, you know all about it, Rook. You're, you're very active on the, uh, on the forums, and that's another place. I'm not super active in the forums. Like, I, I pick my poison. You know, I, I, I can't be part of the, the forums in a huge way to, to uh, you know, to do it, and some people do. Like, there's line groups. There's, like, the, the, the advice. Like, I'll answer anybody's questions. If anybody has questions, like, you, you know, if anybody's personally messaged me, I'm not a jerk. Like if if you got a question, I'll, I'll answer it. Like I'll I'll help I'll help out whoever needs help. But I also have learned that if if I try and help out every single person that needs help, I'm not going to be able to play. I'm not going to have a life. I'm not going to do anything. And that's why I try and create like videos like this. So if somebody has a question or if somebody wants to um wants to get help, they can watch a video because if you if you're having that question, somebody else is probably having that same question. That's why I created that 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 uh that leveling guide because I kept hearing, you know, which hero should I level up next? Which one should I level up next? So, hopefully people can read that resource and be like, "All right, this makes sense. I can I can level that up." Um people that I trust, of course. Yeah. I, uh, it's super important to have people that I trust for sure. Yeah. Um, well, cool. That, that's good. I'm, I'm, you, you can definitely take a lot out of, uh, learning some stuff in peer support. You know, er, everybody, um, everybody has kind of their, their, um, their role in, in way to get information. I know like, uh, like, like live love she's she's in peer support a ton there's there's a, a pandemic disease he's in peer support a ton helping out people there's a lot of people that are that are high level players that are doing a really good job to like give back to the community and help out and everybody kind of picks and chooses you know their their place of of giving information so you know i um this is it's you know i've learned you you can't help out everybody but you can try and do your best um yeah uh hype we we do have um we do have lower um we have a total of five actually maybe even six if you want to consider our alt alliance um uh an alliance but we do have uh lower level ones uh hype i would just recommend honestly if you want to learn um you can actually join in with um like seven days emerging and that's one of our sister alliances that is uh kind of like a beginner or you know middle to to intermediate and now actually like condemn has gone from like intermediate to advanced um both reborn and hunting those are both advanced alliances so they're they're doing really great so um we're uh, we're you know we're we're definitely doing a pretty good job as far as grooming a lot of other players too so um my best advice for anybody that's trying to be part of the seven days community, whether you're, um, you know, like a beginner, you're just trying to try and get your, your wheels going and you've got like a decent team, or if you're, you know, you're an advanced player, uh, definitely join the, the discord channel because we always have openings, um, you know, that, that come up. So, um, yeah. Um, Alicia, we have won every war. I think we're 11 and 0. 
We're either eleven and zero or ten and zero right now. So yeah. Um, our closest win, I think, we've uh, fourteen hundred points. I think is how far away our closest opponent was. So we we've we've done pretty well on on the war. I'm I'm really I'm excited and hopefully the opportunity comes to where we we fight uh mix nuts. I think that's going to be a great war. Yeah, we're 11 and 0. Cool. Um I can't wait to fight mix nuts. Hopefully they You want me to pull up the the war summary? I'll pull it up. Um where'd you send that to me? Can you let me see. I have it. You s- uh zero if you can just send me that link online. Oh, it was a sister alliance? Cool. Yeah, um they um they give us information. I don't I don't track it that much to be honest with you. That sounds bad, but um like I said, there's only so much I can retain and, and pay attention to. Oh cool. Hype. Good for you, man. Yeah, um, I would definitely, you know, go to the Discord channel. Like, the way I explain it, guys, is, like, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. And this goes for anybody. If you, if you, Even if you're trying to get into, like, Seven Days Departed, like, I have people that, that reach out to me and they're like, hey, this is my team, this is where I'm at. Like, please consider me. Like, even just taking that step, you're going to put yourself ahead of everybody else to where, you know, you, you've shown initiative. As long as you're you're qualified and you're a competent person and... And um, and you've got the the grip on things like I'm definitely gonna consider it. I'm pretty much the the main recruiter for Seven Days Departed, um, and I I think that's actually what made me the leader was because I was really good at recruiting. So um, cool hype. I appreciate that. Did you did you send that over to me, Zero? Is that in my line? Uh, Alicia, if you want to check, uh, the heroes are on our website. If you go to, um, 7ddgaming.com, I have my hero guy that actually gives you the, the grades on it. So if you check that out, yeah, 7DD gaming, I'll type it in here too. It's also in the, the description of this, uh, YouTube video, but, um, this has my, um, my grading sheet as well as, um, a vicious has put up all of the the heroes on there. So if you want to look at the the heroes and stuff like that, um, Mel- uh, Melchior from Seven Days Reborn has actually created a tool that you can compare um, heroes against each other. So that's also in the guides too. So I don't know if you guys know about that, but we've actually created a a guide to track like a a tracker to where you can do a comparison between the two. Um, of the uh of the heroes. So that's also in there too. If you go to the website. Um cool. Let me um zero as long as you send that it that to me as a new line message, I'll pull that up. <clears throat> so <clears throat> <clears throat> One of the ways that I keep my cups up is I um I pretty much just revenge at this at this point. So it sent cool. I'll uh I'll check it out after I'm finished with this raid. Hey cleaner, how are you buddy? Nice, um You'll uh, you'll uh, be on your way, Tierji. Be on your way for sure. Sounds like a pretty good team. Uh, see you, Fabio. All right, so. So 
So, uh, Tierji, I would recommend if you join our Discord channel and post your heroes in there, uh, somebody will be able to go ahead and help you and advise with your heroes. That's my uh, my best advice for you. It's it's hard for me to uh, to concentrate on specific heroes uh, doing the live stream, but somebody will definitely go ahead and help you out and give you perspective on which uh, which heroes to to level up. Uh, if you want an immediate answer, I'd recommend looking at my um, at the guide I created, and that'll give you the exact kind of breakdown on on each individual character that you should probably consider. Uh, so that's a good question, Tierji. Uh, with that, um, it depends on how many four-star ascension items that you have. So what I mean by that, how many uh, how many telescopes you have, how many tabards you have, how many um, darts you have. If you have more than three or four, then I would rec I'd recommend using your three-star ascension items to make your four stars max level seventy versus bringing a five star to 70 because the max four stars are better than um than um five star 70s uh i appreciate it star thanks <clears throat> And uh, after this match, I'll pull up uh, how we've done against other alliances. How did everybody else do on the war? Star, how would you guys do? Uh, so... If you go to again that that link uh, 7ddgaming.com, it should be right at the it should be right at uh at the top. It should be called uh, Anchor's Complete Guide to Heroes. That's in there. And then um if you give me a second, I might be able to um pull up Melkier's tool. That's awesome, Star. Good for you guys. Yeah, um, Star was playing the first alliance I ever played in. I was in some some <clears throat> some other random alliance for a little bit when I first got started, and um, but then I I switched over to my first top one hundred alliance that I could get into, and that was the Last Legion, and I've stayed pretty close to those guys, and um, and they pulled it up. Uh, they pulled out the win, so uh, hunting's been. How long have you guys been uh, been active, Star? You saw my guide. Let me see if anybody, if you can pull up, um, pull up a uh, Melkier's guide. All right, so this this is our spreadsheet. It looks like he's updated it with uh with um pretty much we've been tracking every um okay yeah no um if um i'll 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 pull it up 
I'll show you guys how to find it. I'll just pull it up on my phone. You lost by four points? Man, that stinks. I'm sorry. That stinks. Um, but this is um, this is what we do to kind of keep track of of um, of our opponents. So as you can see, 180 is full participation from everybody. I think we only had there's a couple that we we missed a couple, but um, we've done pretty good. Pretty good. We we still got some some stuff to improve on. We were uh, critiquing and doing different things and um, building everything up. So, um, and again, I didn't I didn't build any of this. I can thank zero for all of this. Um, so in the beginning, you can see we didn't really track the number of kills, but um, but you can see that the number of one shots is pretty good. Number of kills, cool. Um, most points, I did get one in there. Um, so, uh, yeah. Most hit player, damage taken, a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, cool. So that kind of gives you, uh, gives you some insight as far as how well we've, we've done on the, uh, the wars. Let's go to seven. All right. So if you guys are looking to try and find uh, the tool that I was talking about, you can uh, click on the, the three little lines up there. And then uh, guides. I think it's in here. Let me see. So it's it's Alliance War Team Planner. I'm sorry. This is um this is Melkier's tool. So you can come in here. He explains exactly how to use this. This is really effective. A lot of people have found that this um this is pretty cool. So it has the the hero comparison, like I was talking about. Um. So you come in here. This tells you exactly how to do it. Uh, does work best on PC, just so you guys know. But um, down here at the bottom, you see where I'm sc I'm scrolling. Uh, hero comparison, and then what you can do uh, is you can do a drop down. Say I want to. I want to do a comparison between Sabina and we'll do Sabina and regard so you can see that's kind of comparing the two and then if you look down at the bottom that has like my grades in it so uh, the Titan team and all that kind of stuff like that, that has what what I recommend, and then he's got the the actual analytics, the uh, the per like the actual stats between the two, so you can compare them back and forth. So um, there's the overall grades. They're both Bs. Um, one does against the allies. It uh, removes the buffs. And then one cures cures your um, ailments, but you can look uh, at the power versus the attack. Uh, so regard has more defense and has more health. Um, so yeah, so that that that's something that if you guys want to uh, definitely use uh, Melkir. He's been doing crazy amounts of updates on this, and there's a there's a ton of different stuff that you can do with this. So um, yeah. Definitely check this out. I haven't even messed with this a ton, to be honest with you guys. Um, I I should probably actually read through the guide, but even just like the comparison thing has been has been awesome. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend checking this out. It's right there. You got the instructions here, so that's right on our website there. Uh, again, I'll pull that up. If you guys go in uh, guides. And it's the Alliance War Team Planner that uh, that you can use. Free resource. And just so you guys know, you know, um, the website itself, we do take donations. The stream itself, 
do take donations does help out. So uh, if if it's helped you out a ton and you feel compelled, cool. If not, that's cool too. Just just check out the streams more and um and keep doing what you're doing. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll head back in here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my chest. Get that rocking. What other questions you guys got? My uh my goal is to either entertain you or help you make make you a better better player each time you watch. So if I'm doing that, then I feel like my uh my work for the day with this is is done. And if you guys are just checking out the stream for the first time, definitely make sure you stay engaged with the chat. I really appreciate that stuff, for sure. Okay. I'm glad you enjoy it, Cleaner. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and shut down this side and hopefully prevent getting hit by Richard. Thanks to Sean. I appreciate you you checking it out, man. Um been trying to get on here and stream every day. I don't know if I'm going to keep streaming every day or what my plan is for that. But um but I'm glad you 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 appreciate it. Uh where does Aaron excel? Uh, my honest opinion, if you plan on getting a bunch of bunnies, I think that's where he excels. Because he has this um Currently, right now, if you use Aaron's ability to, um, and then use a bunny, then they don't take the defensive hits. They don't take the, the defensive ailments. I am not too huge on him. <clears throat> the biggest reason why I'm not too big on him is because at 80, I think he's okay. But I would much rather use my tabards on, like, four to five other purples before I would use them on him. So that's the issue that I have. I don't, um, and, um, next time there's a beta update, <coughs> I will have to, um, have to see if I, I can, um, I can use them well. But to answer yourself specifically... Uh, I don't think he's good on raid, de raid defense at all. I tested him on there. Uh, attack team, he's okay. He's not the greatest. Um, it's funny. Right as zero said that. But um, And number four on purple five-star rankings, probably. I'd, I'd have to look at it right now. But um, Titan, I don't think I would ever put him in on a Titan, ever. Um, I think he's good for like Alliance Wars, potentially. I think that's good. The the problem that I have with staggered healers like like him is that it doesn't heal. Like when I want to heal, like for instance, like any time that I'm doing an offensive raid, if I want to heal, like I want to heal my guys right now because they need to be healed right now. There, it's not. It's not something that I want over the time, and he doesn't protect you. So the whole thing of it is, is like. You think about like Ares, okay? When Ares heals, you're adding to the attack stat. And Ares is huge. He's huge. He's hard to kill. Um, so it's an actual like effective use of the heal. Whereas I don't think that it, this, like the staggeredness of his heal is not worth it. And like Delilah, Delilah heals automatically all off, off the bat and then it protects you. So if I'm going to be using a healer in general, like they need to be doing like 
pretty well because you only have five slots. Now, if if it opened up and you had more than five slots, then yeah, maybe I would probably consider him, you know, better than than what he is. But right now, I like there's just the problem with Aaron is there's just so many other more effective like guys out there, like things you could be using. And when you start getting up into having consideration for going to 80, there's just so many other better healer or, you know, so many other better heroes that I would rather be using instead of him. Like, that's just what it is. Like, I wish, I wish that he was better, but, um, but he's not, um, you know, and Albi, I mean, Albi's a staggered heal, but Albi also increases your mana and also revives your guys. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'll sacrifice my staggered heal for that. Like, you look at Vivica, like, she heals immediately, cures ailments, and also gives you defense. Um, also gives you defense. Like, I'm going to use her over Aaron every single day. No matter what. Like, I don't care about the, the, the 5%. The 5% that it gives to the heroes. And if you're having all purple heroes, like... When are you going to do that? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't bring Aaron in over Ares or Curl or Bold Tusk if I'm doing Alliance Wars. So, um, cool. I, I appreciate it, Jajir. Um, yeah, it's just I. I don't see. I don't. I don't really see where he fits other than the fact of fitting into Alliance Wars. Whereas I think that there's so many characters that are, like, good for Alliance Wars. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um... I, I'm certainly not going to make a push. I wished I would have got Delilah. Um, but even still, Delilah wasn't was an end of the world for me. I'm going to do these... The, uh, the, oh yeah, because he's got all purples, right? But I mean, even still, like star, that's not it's not real practical. Shakir's offensive raid team, which is all purples, yeah, but it's not practical, and and, uh, and um, unfortunately, like, like I I have to look at it from a consumer standpoint. Is like, am I the norm? Is zero the norm? Sure, I think zero probably can grade Aaron betterly you know better for it because he has pretty much every hero and and he likes you know he likes new heroes but would i i ask myself would i use my tabards on it right like would i use my tabards to make it an 80 on it probably not so i'm actually going to go and look at so these are the these are the five star purples so right now, obviously, Hell is better. Panther is absolutely better. Sartana is better. I'm going to go ahead. I'm personally going to go and um, bring Obacon up to 80 as my third 80 in purple. Um, is Aaron better than Dominita? Yeah. Is it better than Obacon? I don't think so from a personal standpoint. Uh, better than Captain Sagrasso? Yeah, because that it's just not a good hero at all. Is it better than Thoth? I don't know. Thoth is actually pretty effective. It's actually pretty decent. He is better than Oba? I don't know. I, I've, I've just always loved Obacon. I'm, like, I'm stoked to make that my third 80. If I don't get Panther, which I doubt I will, or if I get Sartana, I'll obviously go, uh, go and bring that up. Thoth, yeah, I, I don't think Thoth is that great, but, um, but yeah, like, that's just, that's how I feel. You do love Oba? It, dude, when Obacon was first announced, I was, like, so stoked about it. Aaron is better, but see, like, you, you say he's better, but what is he better for? Like, I would much rather, again, when I, when I look at it from Alliance Wars perspective, I would much rather bring... Sabina in uh, than than Aaron. If if you're comparing Aaron at seventy and Sabina at seventy, I would rather bring Sabina Sabina in at seventy. 
but you have to consider that that Aeron, in order for it to be like really good, you would need to bring it to eighty. And am I gonna go and use those resources on it? Probably not. He guarantees that himself and the two flanking heroes are healed. Okay, well, I would much rather just heal my whole party and get rid of their get rid of their buffs. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, Star definitely doesn't like agreeing with me, that's for sure. Um Yeah, so um I just I don't I don't I definitely I Obacon actually has usefulness in in um in being a defense, especially with him being fast. So it deals damage and it also protects itself. You know what I mean? Who will survive Sabine in seventy or well but that that's the whole thing. I don't have any five star healers. I'm fine with my I'm fine with my four star healers. Am I gonna waste the tabers on Aaron? No, I'm not. But that that's what it comes down to, Zero. You gotta configure the that the most most common player is probably going to get one or two chances at 80s. You know, you, you you like you're completely in a league of your own. You've got 68 level 70s. You know, most people are stoked that uh that they're even going to have the opportunity to have 70s or 80s, you know. Would not be the smartest thing for you to not use tabards on Aaron. I I I I don't even plan on leveling him up. I just I don't I don't like him. I I don't know. I don't know. I like I played with him in beta at 80 and out of all of the heroes that I used, he was easily the most underwhelming of them all. I I wish I liked him. You know what I mean? I I wish I enjoyed using him. I just I didn't like him at all. I didn't like him. You know, this is recorded. I'm sorry. You know, what do you want from me? <laughs> I I'm I'm being I'm being honest, you know what I mean? Like there's like I completely changed my perspective on uh on uh Master Lepus. You're calling it now Ares all over again? There's no way. There's no way. Ares is pretty much the premier tank. There's no way. This is Ares all over again. I don't I don't I don't I don't take it at all, Zero. I don't take it at all. I don't I don't see. I don't see. Like, I could see it with Ares. I could see why he's good. Because he protects himself and he heals. Yeah, see, see, Star, Star's right. Give Panther the next Tabards, that's for sure. She she has, um, she has, um, Sartana at 80. I think Panther's perfectly great for Tabards. Yeah, I would pr- probably do that. Um... Yeah, I'm 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 going to ascend Obicon just because I like him. I don't care if it's the best move or not, I like him. With purples though, zero. Like he, like sure, I get it with purples, but what are you what are you gonna are you gonna bring him in against Titans? Okay. Aaron with two purples versus gun. No, I'm I'm going to stay with my four purple team. You know what? Just for that, chef, we're going to go find a gunny tank, okay? Do nothing there in special up. What did I start? Torturous, were you the one that, that brought up uh brought up uh, Aaron? Cuz that that's probably what you start. Second star, get off and I'll roll you. Make sure you're off. <laughs> I've got enough ham. Last time we did this, um, this I should be doing this. Whatever you logged off. All right, I have been. All right, let me see. How 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 many uh how many cups you have, Star? We'll go we'll go fight this guy too real quick. He's got all eighties. We go melt this. All right, so I'm gonna do that one. And then that one. So just so you know, it takes four. So let's do that one. 2,600. I have like no cups right now.
so this is how it pretty much plays out against my gunny tanks. Just destroy three of theirs, and it's three versus five. And for the record, everybody, just so you know, Gunny is the best tank that they've ever made. So, um, if you guys are wondering or curious or whatever, unfortunately, Gunny is the best tank. It was a bad call on Small Giant to, to make Gunny the way that they did. And hopefully you guys get to see me get Gunny live. All right, let's see if we can find her. Now I'm just paying attention to names. I'm not even looking at hams. I feel bad. Passed up a Gunny tank. We gotta go fight Star live. What happened there? Hey, Zero, we gotta take a look at this one. Have we talked to him? Who's Amazing Beard? Hi. Star, you are just not showing up at all. Cool, thanks, Chef. Uh, Dream Team. Dream Team changes. Uh, what I would recommend, though, is Fast Heroes, for sure. Uh, Gunny, surrounded by Fast Heroes. Uh, Z-Line is definitely getting better. She probably makes in that list, which I actually didn't really like Z-Line Z um, on defense. I thought, I thought, <clears throat> I thought she was pretty, pretty okay, but I was never... Oh, there we go. All right, let's watch this. Now, for the record, I think that Star has an incredibly good team. Uh, can definitely see this getting out of hand very quickly. Um, so the Sartana, the Asarnia, Gwenny, Aslar into, um, into Liana. So she's got the two fast, the two slows. So um, the longer this goes on, the worse it is for me. So let's go there. I'm going to try and get my purples up. It's going to be the four purples that I need to kill Gwenny. And now I just need one more. Mm. I'm going to go here. Hopefully get the purple. Nope. This will give me the purple, though. I'm going to take a Sarnia, which is not good, right into Aslar. That's what she wants to happen. See, so it was one move off. That's how the team is constructed. That's why it does so well. Yeah, it was one off. Do a raid. Good job, Star. Oh, now you're switching it up. Hmm. 
make the yellow diamond so I can clear out yellows to hopefully get more purples. I'm not going to use my purple diamond, so that's what normally a lot of people they would have done. Aaron would have stopped that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he, he does. I don't know if he laughs at that, because you're still taking everybody is getting hit. <laughs> Everybody's dead. You take a Sarnia hit, and then you take a an Azar hit, it doesn't matter. You're still dead. You're still ta Everybody's taking damage at that point. Um... But mostly, everybody would have normally just shot off the purple, but I didn't need to shoot off the purple because I was so close to already creating it. So, I'm going to come, I'm going to kill that side, and I'm going to actually kill this side too, because this will be close to charging up my heroes on the left side after I create that diamond. heal up <clears throat> star you got what you wanted to see the 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 uh asarnia into aslar combo it's a good one we talked about that a lot before actually in the past we knew that you wanted to make that and i told you it was great Yeah, but, all right, Here, here's what I'm, I'm going to give you, Zero, okay? Uh, Aaron is better than Sabina in raids on defense that have Guinevere. That's what I'm going to give you. But again, we're comparing a 70 versus an 80. Zero did survive them both going off. It's the dots? Yeah, I guess. Sure, Zero, we can see your video if you want. Now that I've wasted this uh this raid raid uh flask. We'll do some more raids. Create the yellow. Gunny dead. Get rid of the yellow, the blue, come in here, should charge everybody, heal up, come down, kill a side. Uh, Arthur is not a good defensive hero, just so you guys know. Um, it, unless he's got defense down like that, that's crazy. <laughs> I've never seen a, an Arthur deal 1,200 damage. It was pretty funny. Um, thanks, buddy. Now, there was a time when I was actually just uh, stalling everybody out with using... Because I have the, the, the double hells on there. So, I'd stall out one side and then the other. Um, but I found it more effective to um, to actually just um, 
to kill one side. So turning it into three versus five. There's another one. All right, zero. I'll check out the video in a second. I may make a green diamond, hopefully, but that didn't go as well as I planned. I'm trying to get some purples in the middle. So if I do this yellow right here, I have a chance of making a um of making a five star or sorry, making a diamond with the purple. So this is the type of stuff that I I will see because I've I've one in five chance. I've got a 20% chance that a purple will be down there. And it didn't happen. So I'm going to go the little bit more unconventional way of charging up my purples uh dolby those were all limited unfortunately This match is probably going to get out of hand. Yep, Hell was limited. Hell was the first hero of the month. I'm just going to kill Gwenny. So right now I'm going to send all my damage to Athena because that will kill Athena potentially and also kill um, Albi even though Athena hasn't taken any damage. No, Aaron would not have helped me in that at all. I was dead. Yeah, brutally, they will be bringing them back at some point this year, but we don't know when. I actually, I like Moosh. A lot of people don't like Moosh, but, um, but I'm a fan of him. I like him. I don't think he's the worst. I think he's really good against, um, he's really good, good against, um, Um, really good paired up with, um, with Ares. So this will give me my fourth purple that I need to kill Gwenny. Is Richard, Richard makes a pretty good tank. He's not bad. He's not the greatest. He's a solid tank, though. <clears throat> I have a Richard. I will probably maybe start leveling him. Potentially. I've got two of them. Thank you, Albie, for not punishing me. I appreciate that. Here's something to also consider, Zero, 
with um with Sabina versus Aaron is with Guinevere going off Sabina can actually go ahead and take away the 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 debuff on um on it. So that's something that Aaron can't do. If Gwenny goes off and then we get Sabina up, we re- remove the uh the purple uh defense. So you can suck it. Oh, we got a uh, in the end. I have to win this. So I just got myself a so some people probably wouldn't have seen this. Sabina removes Sabina takes away the buff, buddy. Um I got myself a purple uh diamond. If you guys hopefully you guys can see the purple diamond right off the bat. Um so now I have a decision. Either I can use my purple diamond or I can use my green diamond to hopefully get more purples. But I'm not going to be greedy because my Guinevere, um, she's almost charged up. So I want to make sure that she doesn't go off. So normally what I would do is um, it can't save my mana. I'm talking about say I go ahead and I get Sabina up after she's used her ability then I can get rid of the defense buff that Guinevere puts up. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I saw the diamond, Chef. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, So normally what I would normally do is I would use the green diamond first because it's dead tiles, and that would potentially give me more live tiles with my purple. But in this case, because I need to make sure this Guinevere is dead... I'm going to go ahead and um, and use this first. Come. Albie's a priority. Probably didn't even need to use Sabina at that point, but it's fine. And then we'll just kill this side. Zero, just let it go, okay? Just let it go, all right? You can use your tabards on your, uh, on your Aeron. Go for it, buddy. I don't think anybody else should. If they're not, if you, you're running out of things to use tabards on, okay? Let's just make that clear. What you should be doing is saving your tabards for, uh, for, um, for hell. That I know, hopefully you have to spend like $2,000 to get once it comes back. It's bad if I don't. What do I need my five-star healers for? My five-star healers? The problem is I'm using a five-star healer that I never even, like... If I got Vivica, I would use my darts on Vivica right now immediately. Because it actually has universal purpose that I can use it for. Aeron, no. I'm, like, never going to put it in. The only time I would put it in. Check my watchtower. Would you already, you already, uh, revenge me? Yeah, you already revenged me. Did you record the video? You forgot? God, the worst. So, safe to say that I'm not just lucky against um, these Gwenny tanks. Where did I go? Like six out of one? Six wins, one loss? Maybe that's pretty good against Gwenny. My decent tank. You miss Groot. Groot's, Groot. Groot was fun. Um, 
My defensive team's going to get better here real soon. As soon as I get Gwenny, you guys are all dead. I don't even care. Two losses, I have one loss. Did I have two losses? I can't wait to have Gwenny and... And Hell is number two. Go look. Did Bean get me? Oh, you're right. I, I stand corrected. How many did we do? Is de facto? Will we start with Joe? Nope. Well, so we got Well, Star, Jacko. Two, three, four, five, six, six and two. It's not too bad. I don't have Owl. Do not have Owl. Um, I'm already getting revenge. Jackal got me. Which owl character? What are you talking about? So while I'm auto in here, <clears throat> anybody else got questions or anything like that? <laughs> That's the Tony usually reserves for me. I didn't even read that. Nope, I don't have Owl. I'll pull up my heroes in a second, and you can maybe figure out which one you're talking about. Uh, I don't even think I have an owl avatar either. And if you guys aren't, uh, do me a favor. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, uh, subscribe. I appreciate it. That's what kind of makes this uh, worth it to uh, to invest this time. So if you could do that for me, I appreciate it. All right, let me go take a look. Figure out what you're talking about. Yeah, what's your question, Star? Those are mine, not nearly as oppressive as uh, Zero's. I liked you showing off your avatars uh, the other day, Zero. That was, that, was, that was cool. Will I lose quicker or slower to you? Um, that'll be fun. It'll be fun. It's boards, though. Like, Star, I mean, like to give you credit, you got, you got the... The Hail Mary being able to, to get Sarnia and Azlar to go off right consecutively. Like, that's that's definitely the best that it could go, for sure. Yeah, that was definitely zero. <clears throat> that's fine, Star. I got I got I got presents for you too. So this is um I'm definitely gonna try to make a, this will be the team. That I'm going to have, and then Gwenny in the middle. So Gwen in the middle, two Junes, two Hells. I think it'll be an interesting, um, interesting thing for for people to go ahead and do. Uh, 
Um, Torturous, they, they've definitely talked about... Um, they've talked about creating potentially a way to trade. It's not anything in the foreseeable future. But, um, yeah. I don't think that they're going to be doing that. Is it Owl character any good? Um, actually, funny story, uh, Irene, uh, he actually has Owl, but he runs, um, he runs Albie in the middle to bring up the mana, and then he has, I think it's, it goes Owl, Asarnia, Albie, Aslar, and Quintus. And uh and he runs uh Albi just in place to just get the mana mana up and then he just destroys with um with the um with the slow hero heroes, which I thought was a really cool defense. But Owl I I would not save uh I would not say is is a very good character. And I'm sure, like, if, if I wanted to, I could probably get a, a more effective strategy for Guinevere. I just literally don't want her ever going off. That's my whole thing. I don't want the character going off. Can I beat the team as a whole, setting up a more balanced thing? Yeah, sure. But I'd much rather go against, you know, four four against five immediately right off the bat. And having four tiles in the middle is pretty easy. So, um... I mean, as long as I'm getting the wins, that's all that really matters. And um, if you made those changes, Star, you wouldn't have won that match against me. Because you'll be flanking, you'd be flanking Z-Line, which, like, is not that big of a deal when I've got um, my um, Volta still alive. Wait, wasn't listening? What? The reason why you beat me that time was because you had um, Asarnia into into Aslar. You're probably going to swap out Aslar for Marjana, and Asarnia is probably going to swap out for Z-Line. So the reason why you won was because you actually had the combo go off. Thanks, Basilisk. I appreciate it. See two backpacks, some more leather strips. They wouldn't have gone off twice. There's no way. BT BT was it it doesn't matter, I still would have been alive. Yeah, Z Line and Marjana is absolutely one hundred percent more balanced and will probably win you more games for sure. I'm definitely giving you that. Would have won you that? I don't think it would have I don't think it would have beaten me. Because all my guys would have been alive. You dealt like eight hundred damage to my whole team. Whereas you would have dealt like two hundred and fifty damage and then one of them would have been hit for like seven or eight hundred. It certainly wouldn't have gone off twice, that's for sure. Um, no, uh, Alicia, if, if people have the heroes, they can be in our alliance. I don't care if they've spent money or not. Uh, one of our guys, Hylik, um, I don't think he's really spent any money at all, really. So, um... Yeah, it's it's I I don't care if people spend money or not. Do more props to people that don't that are not doing free to play. Thanks to Sean. I appreciate the I appreciate it. And we find, Oh, look at that. That's pretty solid. Got a dragon bone and a nugget. Yeah. Yeah, uh you can uh you can definitely dispel that rumor, Alicia. And 
Alicia, uh, we can, uh, yes, we are still live. Talk a lot. Yeah, we, we've been, uh, we've been debating stuff, going back and forth. <laughs> no, this is a rerun. Pretty much. Sometimes it feels like that. No, I feel like, uh, there's been a lot of really good information so far. Two slots open and reborn. Um, yeah, I would, uh, nice. Did you get anything good, good to eat over there? Uh, I think, I don't know what's going on with reborn. My best advice is to go into our discord channel. If you feel you're, um, you're, um, you're in there and, um, introduce yourself. Um, and we can get you in touch with the, with the right, right, uh, right people. So those spots are reserved. I know we were, I don't know what's going on. We just had shakeups. And just so you guys know too, in, in, uh, in Departed, we are, I'm always recruiting. Like people think that, that, that it just ends. Like I still recruit as a whole because life, life happens. You're, you're, you've got alliance based around 30 people that have, um, that have like real lives and are doing different things. I lost two of my, my members in like in a 24 hour period. So, um, so we're, we're always, uh, recruiting and looking for, for good people because, and then what ends up happening is usually if anybody is not in departed, they typically will stick around and, and hang out with a, with a sister alliance and, and help out there. So, um, you know, as from a leader standpoint, I know we had a leader in here and everything like that, like recruiting never ends, even, even for us, it's a little bit easier for us because we do have such a, a high profile and people know who we are and, and that, that can make things easier. But, um, but I'm always, uh, I'm all, I'm always on the search because I know life happens. So, um, yeah. Uh, the emerging spot, again, if any, if anybody is interested in joining any of our alliances, I highly recommend, uh, going into our discord channel for sure. And, um, and doing that, um, you know, getting acquainted with everybody, letting you know, you know, letting people know that you're interested in potentially joining the alliance, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So, um, yeah. Chef who or Flesh. Who who invited Flesh Peeler in here? Who invited him in here? I thought it was a a, a while ago that it that I mentioned it. I was hoping we we would miss out on Flesh joining. Another dragon bone, another backpack. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Flesh. You know I love you. <laughs> See all the emotions? He gets sad to happy and kisses and giving me a thumbs up. <clears throat> Flesh, I, I started, uh, I've been going to the gym now and, um, I feel like I'm getting like a, like a cough from going to the gym. Is it, is that normal? Like, I feel like I always have to constantly be like clearing my throat. Do we, uh, do we know what's going on with that? Or do you know anything about that? If you guys haven't seen flesh is like a, a monster of a man. Um, if you see him online, he's like this big giant beastly man. So, uh, so he probably has some pretty good gym advice for me. Alicia, 100% Wukong, and then shortly after Jackal. They're both incredibly good. Yeah, I know that they're filthy, but it doesn't explain that I've got like, I just feel like I need to constantly be clearing my throat. 
wipe yeah I, I mean i've been wiping down everything maybe i gotta like it do, it doesn't feel like i'm getting sick it it feels like maybe it's because i had asthma i had asthma and i used to have like really bad like respiratory issues but i think i've been getting rid of my asthma but i just feel like i'm like i need to like cough a lot but it's not like a sick cough i don't know how to explain it it's like gym cough is there such thing as gym cough can somebody look up gym cough Yeah, uh, see you, Alicia. Thanks for stopping in and checking us out. Um, sinuses. I don't know how to explain it. Your face is Jim Goff. That is that is probably true too. Um, yeah. No. Um, I don't know what's going on though. I'm like dying. I feel like I always have to like cough, but I'm not sick. Jim Goff is going to be mad. That's pretty funny. J I M. Um So this one time, actually it wasn't like three times. I think Flesh has been bitten by a a uh, venomous snake three times and he's never taken anti venom because all he did was flex his muscles and then suck the venom out of his muscles and then spit it out. It's a true story. I'm just waiting for this flag to show back up. Want to uh want to do my last uh 129. Yeah. That is flush for you. Yeah, you upgrade this thing yet. Two buildings. Three times is correct. That is gross. I don't know how somebody gets bit by by a, a, a snake three times. Yeah, I'm doing cardio. I'm doing a... I've been working on my mile, actually. Running a, a, a fast mile. So, um... I just did a... Um, she slither in her pants that's pretty good good one chef um three different snakes how are you around that many poisonous snakes like how does that happen i was actually having a discussion because i used to live in arizona and my buddy posted a picture of of him with a uh it's a bull snake i think that's what it's called i know right Deshaun? didn't learn from the first two like stop hanging out with snakes bro um but no, like in, in Arizona, like, you know, the, the Arizona Diamondback is like, it's pretty frequent. And I've never seen a poison snake. And I lived there for five years. And my buddy posted a picture of a, of a, uh, a bull snake that like tries to imitate the Diamondback. I was like, dude, like, I don't like see snakes. So how do you see snakes? You live in the South. Star, you don't even really live in the South. We had this conversation. That's not even the South. Let's be real. Virginia is not the South. And I just gave away where Star lives. She's in the state of Virginia somewhere. But um, I don't consider that the South. I know you guys say it's the South. But that's not the South. Let's be real. Is it though? Is it though? Didn't feel too South to me. Um, so you were rattlesnake hunting well see that that's the problem see you're the idiot for going hunting for rattlesnakes that's what makes you dumb don't go searching for rattlesnakes dummy you deserve to get bit third property timber Timber rattlesnake. That's crazy. You're in Virginia as well? Cool. You should... You... 
There was a copperhead? Why didn't you show me the copperhead snake? They fought back. What, were you like hunting them with, with knives? I guarantee it. You're going to tell me you were hunting hunting them with knives. Like I could see like like uh, somebody like maybe taking a gun out and hunting rattlesnakes that way. But God, you guys are, you're, you're an idiot, Flesh. I want to, uh, yeah, probably just his bare hands. I could see that too. <laughs> Rubber bands and paper clips. I, am, I, am, I, I, I could see that happening too. I don't know. I don't know what you do. You're like subhuman over there. Yeah, we used to be around like scorpions and black widows. I used to see those in Arizona. So, like, I don't know, like, uh. Being around scorpions, that 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 shit ain't fun. I I'm like the worst. I'm like a little girl, to be honest with you. I'm like really bad about stuff like that, like bugs and stuff like that. I ain't about that life. Like if something's like wisping around in like my ear or whatever, I like freak out and I'll screech. I don't even care. You know what's even worse is uh me going into the ocean. Dude, I hate going into the ocean. I refuse to go into the ocean. It's bad. If anything like touches my feet. Like, you know, it's tr- true, Flesh. I, I got the, the princess. Like, things touch my feet. Like, I will screech like a little girl. That's, like, sketchy. I hate that. Like, I hate stuff touching my feet when I'm walking on the the, the sea, the ocean. But I want to go swimming with sharks. So it's, like, this weird, like, complex that I have that, like, I want to go hang out with fucking sharks in the middle of the ocean. But I also don't like, like, sketchy things, like, crawling across my feet. Like a, like a crab crawling across my feet, like I'm done. Like I have gotten out of the ocean. Like my daughter is out there playing and um, she'll be out there playing. She'll be having a good time. Nope. Dad's out. Dad's out in the, in the, in the land because I'm not messing around with things touching my feet. I'm just not doing it. So you stomped a, a mouse to death with your foot. I mean, that, that's pretty hardcore. You've been bit by a by a black widow, is that what you're saying? Flush. I'm gonna finally use this. See you torturous, thanks for showing up. A bunch of babies? A bunch of baby what? Oh, so you got bit by a bunch of black widow spiders? Dude, you're crazy, dude. How does that happen? How is one person so unfortunate with the environment? Did you not take anything for that too? Good for you, Dark. Man, I I give all the I give all the the props in the world to uh to people that don't spend money on this game and still have have good heroes. 3 uh 3 backpacks from this guy. Yeah, brown recluse. We we had those in Arizona. I had a brown recluse on my on my truck that almost like I almost died. It was like in my uh I opened up my truck door and it was in the door. That was pretty pretty sketchy. Spider Hulk. The flexible spider hulk, flesh the flexible spider hulk. I like it. So 
So we got three days left on this event. Do you think that I uh, think I'm going to get a uh, a telescope? So I'd really like to to get one of those. Oh, only 10% have bad reaction to brown recluse? I know, right, Deshaun? It's bad. It's easy to spend money in this game. It's easy. I don't know. I I don't I don't really like to mess with that kind of stuff. I've been stung by a bee once. I think that's that's probably the equivalent of that stuff. I don't like to mess around with it. Uh brutally, yes. They've they've gone through a ton of the ascension items and um and a uh, telescope could be in one of the last couple of days. I'm really hoping that it is. Helped remove arms and legs from spider bites? God, that's gross. Yeah, I can never do your job. Saving people's lives and stuff like that. Fle- Flesh is a nurse. If you guys didn't know, he's actually a nurse. But, um... Yeah. Tabard, maybe. Yeah, this is um this is what I got going on. I wanna get uh I wanna send Magni. I just used some rings and uh those darts are gonna be for my girl Guinevere. So hopefully. Yeah, no, um no I'm talking about the uh this thing right here, the spring offer. So I'm hoping tomorrow it's the last one that could be paid for. I'm hoping tomorrow's a telescope. I do I do have extra darts. I do. See you flashy. Um, so guys, I, I, I think, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this stream a wrap. I think we did really well. Uh, do you guys have any, uh, last minute questions for me? I appreciate all the, the new viewers. Again, if you're watching this as a replay, I appreciate you checking out the stream. Um, make sure you subscribe, put the notifications on because I've been kind of going on randomly and, um, and then that way you can make sure that, that you know when I'm coming on, trying to give some, some good value. Everybody's, you know, kind of already, uh, I've had a few people reach out to me and say that it's personally helped out a lot for the information they've gotten from the stream. So, um, I appreciate all the subscribers and everything like that. Did you know Natalia is glitched with her description? Uh, let's go look. Doesn't look glitched to me at the moment. Uh, definitely finished Bold Tusk, Doby. Bold Tusk is used in just about every single offensive thing ever. Not really, but it's used a lot. Unless you have Ares, I would definitely recommend um, Bold Tusk finishing it. Oh, in uh, in battle. Uh, if you have a video of that, I'd recommend sending it over to the to the devs, so they know. You're welcome. For uh, for losing to you, Star. Yeah, sorry, sorry, my daughter wasn't here to uh to lighten the the mood up for everybody and use all my resources. Yeah, yeah, they they uh I think they definitely did uh UV th- thanks for uh for checking out the stream too. Uh I think they did already use they definitely did already have a tavern. So, yeah, I'm I'm really hoping that tomorrow is uh is a telescope.
Yeah, I don't really... Um, the reason why I don't... I, I ascended Marjana over Nat is because... Marjana is just infinitely better uh, on defense. But Nat is better on Titans and offensive raids. So... Um, I did want to... Um, I did want to have uh, move in the direction of having more uh, more fast um, fast heroes. So yes, I did. I already did ascend Marjana over Natalia. Zero. It already happened. So I did it today. Check this out. Whoop! Level one. And I only ascended it today just because because uh, I had too much ham. Pick loaded. Did you send me something? Why isn't she 80? Because I just did it today, and I'm leveling my three stars. I have to get ready for the, for, uh, for the events. So? What you, why are you saying so? Uh, some of us don't have a million heroes... Like, look at this is this is what I have. Like, what do you offer me? Can't even use any anything over here. You know, just for that, just for that zero, I want you to watch this with me. Okay, are you watching? Are you watching? How does that make you feel? Tell me. How does that make you feel? Do you like that? Feed your hell to it? I should. Thank you, thank you, uh, Tarish. Thank you, I appreciate that. Oh, what am I? I don't think this was the right move to uh, work on Adana over Bane. Thanks, I'll see you soon. Why am I doing Donna? Um, I don't know. She's pretty bad. I think I did Donna because that was... Um, I would started her from before. I started from before because of, uh, of an event that I believe you used Donna for. It should probably be Bane, potentially. I'm assuming... Donna is not the greatest. Well, I will level you, level with you there. Probably Bane. Bane should definitely be done over Donna, but you know what? We're having fun, okay? I've never used Donna. <clears throat> I don't know why. You you use Ganju and Bane? You use two Banes? I don't know. Donna seemed like a good idea. Donna is bad, but you know what? We're going with Donna right now. It's pretty good because now I can focus more on my three stars. And um, and I should be able to level them pretty quickly. I've been putting it off for like three months. So I'm at the point now to where I actually will do it. So I probably should just do, uh, do Bane instead. Evening, Anthony. All right, um, <clears throat> guys, I'm going to get off here. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming out, checking out the stream. I will see you guys next time.